It shows you how much Sam changed that he would even think about going after Third Echelon. He'd been a company man, loyal to the bone. But now, here he was, ready to rip the guts out of the beast. The building's weakness was in the power supply. The main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage. With a little C4 in the right places, Sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside Third Echelon. That was good enough for Sam. He was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. Sam, are you in the garage? I smell like a spare tire. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. I still think we should have gone with Paul Prince Memorial later that morning. Washington businessman and Reed's call, not us. He thinks we're secure, so I guess we're secure. He was taken to the Washington Mercy Hospital. God damn! There is no word yet if anyone was injured. Police advise drivers to take an alternate route if possible to avoid traffic. We now return you to your program. Get a move on, Sam. My contact on the inside just sent me a text. Security's looking for him. He's a techie named Charlie Fryman. And before you ask, yes, I trust him. Well, that's good enough for me. Where is he? Near the server room. Get to him before security does, or he won't be able to help you.
Sam. The one thing Third Echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter. As the enemy. As the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth... It was waiting for him. I'm sorry, we're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable. But if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher, I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. The emergency power will be online in five, Four, three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closing. No contact on the 67 out! <laughs> Simon just sent me his location. He's waiting for you in the office off the server room. Huh. Got it. God damn! Holy oh, shit! Oh, shit. No contact. Repeat, no contact. Contact! Target! Get him! Go! Go on in! Get ready! Go! 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 Target is not visible. Fisher's on. Got you now! Whoever did this couldn't have gone far. I got no contact. Oh, Jesus Christ! I think I got a fix on the target. We're going in after him.
Are you Fisher? Over here! Are you Fryman? Yeah. Yeah. You're Fisher, right? Anna told me that you were coming. I, I was a big fan of yours back when you worked here. I was a big fan. I'm touched. What do you have for me? I've got those. Ultra high frequency sonar goggles. Better than the stuff the new splinter cells are getting. Hey, try them on. Voila. With these babies, you can see in the dark. You can see through walls. You name it. It's not bad. Plus, I tweak them so that you can see the security system laser grid. Trip the beam and a turret targets the brick. Nasty stuff. I programmed the algorithm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, just one thing. Um, the top of the line guys are, are packing similar gear, so if you can see them, they, they might be able to see you. Thanks. Now you better get moving. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just tell the security guards that I was reading in the can. You know, they'll walk me right back to my office. And you, on the other hand, it's... Good luck. Fisher could be in the server room. I want everybody there. ASAP. We need you back! Contract in sight! The area's in God damn it! Oh, that's it! You're done! Zone's clear. Motherfucker! No! Got a possible fix on the back! Fisher! We need to move! We're going in! Attack! Cannot move! Take a line, Fisher! on the husk. Heads up! Frag out!
Gobin. This was part of the deal. Protection. Well, protect me. I'm telling you, he's here. You need to do something about it. Nice to see you again. Look, Fisher, I can explain. Oh God, stay back. Nobody's coming to save you this time, Andre. Now tell me, what the hell is Reed up to? Reed's working with Megiddo. He's using Third Echelon to get EMPs into the country. And sighted in DC, I, I helped set it up, it's what I do. Why? What does Reed get out of this? The president. They're gonna take out the president after the EMPs go off. I'll paralyze the city. Use it as cover for the hit. Tonight. Why go after the president? I can't tell you! She won't play ball, but the VP is already in Makito's pocket. Uh, Reed gets a medal and a big fat promotion after it all goes down. That son of a bitch. Last question. This is the important one. What do you know about my daughter? If I tell you, you're gonna kill me. I don't know anything about her. Fisher, like I said, they gave me a picture, told me to provide a body that matched. I did a lot of jobs like that for Third Echelon. Anything they needed. Ask your friend Grimm's daughter. I worked with her a bunch of times. She knows more about this than I do. Shut up. Still alive? Good. I think. I just had an interesting discussion with your friend Coben. Reed's in bed with Megiddo. They're going after the president and playing kingmaker with a VP. The EMPs are for cover. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I gonna find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then. Clear. Fuck! Wait, oh, fuck. Holy cow! Subject spotted! Moving in! <laughs> 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 Thank you.
So tell me about Sarah, Grimm. Tell me why you lied to me. It was Lambert's call, Sam. He thought he was no. protecting you. He had a recording system set up in his office. Everything that went on in there he saved. Before New York, he gave me the access codes. The files can only be triggered on site and only by me. This is what he had to say about Sarah. Sarah Fisher? I'd received reliable intelligence of a credible threat against her, one coming from a mole inside Third Echelon. The threat against Sarah would be used in an attempt to leverage Sam. Sam would then be compromised, and I couldn't allow that. So I made the hard choice. I faked Sarah's death, taking her off the playing board. Without her, Sam would be free to act as he needed to. He'd suffer, but she'd be safe. The rest was detailed. Preparing a new identity for Sarah, securing her. Excellent work there, Anna, and keeping her hidden. Then use that despicable creature, Coven, to provide a body that could stand in for the girl. And then I lied to my best friend. Told him his daughter was dead. Took advantage of his grief and used it for Third Echelon's purposes. And the saddest part of this, I never uncovered the mole. The danger to her and to Sam is still out there, which means this has to stay hidden. You and I, that's all. Perhaps someday...
Attention all personnel. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Site cleanup and data sterilization has begun. All personnel must reach a minimum safe distance of 100 yards from the building immediately. Sam, read launch protocol 2319. Get out of there. Now. Warning. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Jesus Christ! Warning! Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Warning! Protocol 2319 is now in effect. 